South Korea continues to garner gro growing global recognition for its cosmetics and skincare products. There is even a term for it, K-beauty. The latest trend, according to our Hong Yu, is using professional beauty devices at home. When people think of skin and body care, they used to think of going to dermatologists or beauty salons. But these days, customers have turned to devices that can be used wherever and whenever they please. And one such device that is trending in Seoul is the LED face mask. There are electronic devices that have LED lights on the interior of a mask that is as thick as a helmet. And what is special about this mask is that these LED lights are like those used in dermatology clinics. So there are people who prefer to buy the LED face masks and use them repetitively instead of going to the dermatology clinic where they would have to pay much more for a one-time only treatment. The wavelengths produced from these LED lights were specifically calculated to affect skin cells in the most effective way. And to make it more convenient to use at home, wireless charging functions, touchpads and a mobile control system have been developed. There are so many care devices, ranging from dead skin cell peeling devices to body massage devices. Dead cell peeling is also one of the treatments that is provided at clinics, but this device uses low stimulus ultrasonic waves and negative ions for the same purpose of removing dead cells. There are also small facial massage devices that use mini LED lights, vibrations and negative ions to shrink a swollen face and to revitalize scalps and hair. Our main customers are from ages 20 to 40. Young people prefer light items and highly priced items are purchased mostly by older people. The market is worth more than 400 million U.S. dollars and is expected to grow to more than 800 million dollars within the next two years. The home care market is continuously developing as there are more consumers turning to immediate treatments that can be done at home. Hong Yu, Arirang News.